episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm Chris. And Christopher. on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for Never Rarely, Sometimes Always. Or, it? or as it's properly titled, Never Rarely, Sometimes Always. There's commas. Sorry. That's how you're supposed to say it. So he's but, trying to say how you should properly say it. But basically the plot, it, this has been a very talked about trailer. Uh, comes to us from somebody who, it's from... The person who wrote and directed this actually helped direct um, 13 Reasons Why. Oh, okay. Yeah, if, you've, if you're if you a teenager or a young adult and are on Netflix, you probably have know about 13 Reasons Why. But the basic plot of this is two teenagers travel to New York C- City to seek medical help because of an unintended pregnancy. Yeah, they're trying to get... In a way, they're trying to get an abortion. That's what they're trying yeah. to do. There's a couple noble names. The most noble name I see on the cast list is Ryan Eggle who you may remember from The Blacklist, and he's yeah. he's that uh, lead doctor on New Amsterdam. Oh, yeah. So you got a good familiar face there. So let's just dive right into this and see what we're getting ourselves into for the official trailer for Never, Rarely, Sometimes, Always. So here we go. See, I said it right. I didn't see you at school today. I went to the doctor. What's wrong? Mm-hmm. Don't you ever just wish you were a dude all the time? This is the most magical sound you will ever hear. Or a scary sound for you. Look at that face. Yeah. I like that shot. Where else could you go? Nowhere in Pennsylvania. I think you should try another place. Yeah, the shot that got me is like when she's like, "This is the most beautiful song here in the yeah, world." The expression and for she her gives. was like the complete fucking. And like I said, and like I said, very much. Sometimes it could, yeah, it could be the most beautiful thing you hear in the world, but for some, it could be the mo- you know worst thing they want would want to hear at yeah. that moment in a way. And that's just yeah, and I see why this film's getting a lot of uh, like uh, buzz behind it because it's a, it's again, it's one of those films that could be controversial. It could go either way. It could be controversial or. It could really send a message. And, then, and it was funny part is it doesn't feel like it's controversial. It's just like this this girl just figuring out this heavy life do? heavy life choice, you know. You know I think and whatever whatever she decides to do in the end, because it looks like they're in New York for a while, so it doesn't. It's not like instantaneous. She goes aside to do something about it. It's like yeah, no, they're there for a while, and just to try and decide what her next step is. I mean. Uh, only a reason I say you know controversial is just because maybe the way I, it depends on how it ends or maybe not even that just the overall subject of the matter because of course we all know you know when it comes to abortions uh, there's a huge controversy behind all yeah. of that you know but I think what this is trying to explain is just what the person behind it the person that's going through it what they're feeling at that moment yeah. you know yeah. what they have to go through and it's like it's difficult on them. You know, and you know, having this 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 living being within you, it's like it's that hard choice of like, what does this mean for your future? Yeah, it, it I can't say for myself, but like, it's not never an easy decision. So like, and that's what this you is can doing. definitely feel that here. Aside from the fact they're pretty much living on the streets in New York because they have no money to like even get back home for the looks of it. Yeah, that's why she, you know she was at you know that's why even she was there at you know when they're there it looked like she was asking. Where are you staying? You know, well, you know, you guys came a long way, but where are you guys staying exactly? 
You know, it's like she could sense like, okay, they've they they came here alone, type of thing. You know, so. But it's gonna be one of those those films that's gonna send up you know it has a powerful message behind it you know that's what it's trying to deliver about you know what they go through themselves not just oh you guys what you guys are doing is wrong this or that no it's it's sending a message of what the person themselves have to go through yeah. of the decision of what they need to make so that's what this is I think I believe this was didn't we say it was also based off a book. I didn't say it was based on a book. I believe it was based off a book. I it it, it didn't say it's based on a book. Even in the writing credits, it doesn't. Say, it would say like the it's offered by you know. But it doesn't okay, say I, it. I I thought it was. Um, I could be wrong. I mean, you guys could correct this down below. But yeah, that's what this is, and it seems like it's one of those films I'll probably definitely watch my wife probably later on in the streaming service. Yeah. So. Other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Sorry. Uh, let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this trailer overall. Um, I mean, is it something that you definitely want to mind watching? If you've been through that type of situation and um, is this something that really can open up and let people know what the person... It's going through themselves, some things like that. Is this, uh, you know, something you, you would love to watch and see what happens by the end of it? Um, and again, if you guys can correct us, if it's not based off a book, then you guys can let us know it's not. It's, you know, it's an original idea, original story. But even if it is based off a book, have you read the book? In comparison to this, is a very powerful type of book to send a message um, that it's trying, it's trying to deliver. Yeah. Uh, but put down what you thought as well uh, of our reaction. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has, of course, been a very um, interesting episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter. As well as Stardust. At Super React Bros.